What's going on, everybody, and welcome to a brand new episode of Trading to Glory. In the last episode, you saw me. I picked up these Lozanos up for 43,000 coins each. Sold them all. Had eight of them sold for about 56 to 59,000 coins. Went ahead and took the profit because that's decent profit. Burge win. You saw me invest in these cards as well. Got them all for about 26, 27K. Again, I saw the profit and I took it. Same for Nelson Semedo. A little bit of profit, took it, and Alejandro Gomez. And hey, I might regret selling these too early because this is very, very early time to sell them. They're still in packs for a couple more days. What I'm banking on is EA dropping some sort of SBC on Monday or Tuesday. That's easy for people to get, and it gives them like a 25K pack or a 30K pack, similar to what we saw on Thursday, which could cause prices to go down a ton for cards that are in packs. And if they do that, that's going to be my cue to invest in cards. But today we have Sunday night bidding, which means that I'm going to put as many coins as I can into low budget cards and flip them for 200% profit, 300% profit. And if you guys have kept up with the trading glory, you know exactly what to do. If you guys are a subscriber on my Twitch channel, then you guys get a special trading guide of a list of players and, uh, and special things to know about Sunday trading. And if you guys ask some of the su uh, Twitch subs, just go ask them uh, what they think about it i'm pretty confident in the fact that they will uh they will encourage you guys to join it as well nonetheless guys we've got some content for you guys today in terms of how to make coins and what to invest in i talked a little bit about what to invest in the last episode and i think i'm going to go ahead and keep that strong i'm going to reinvest in bergwin i'm going to reinvest in Zemedo. i'm going to reinvest in alejandro gomez if they get back down to the price i want them at. If I don't, if they don't get down to the price I want them up, I'll just go ahead and move on to a different card. That's perfectly fine. I found this hazard in my club. Didn't even know I had it. Sold that card. But uh, that's basically it for the transfer list. I picked up that Pianich for 10,000 coins in the last episode. Just a quick flip for profit. That puts us at 1,650,000 coins. Uh, and we're just 14 episodes into the trade into glory, which means that we're making over 100,000 coins per episode, guys. Uh, we're averaging probably like 120K per episode. And that's not even counting the players that we've bought for this team, including Casemiro, who is 26K, Ter Stegen at nearly 40,000 coins, at our Millie Tau for 20K, Anaki Williams for 20k etc etc we've got a lot of different cards oh yeah and this nelson sumetto is going for like 40,000 coins right now which i might actually sell tonight because he's still out of packs and i don't want to wait till he gets back into packs to sell so i'll probably sell that one which is 37,000 coins now and i want to see how he's risen out of packs i got him for 37k before he went out of packs and let's see what he's actually at now i don't expect him to be a ton more but i do expect him to be more than what i got him for and it looks like he's just barely above what I got him for. So if I sold him for 39,000 coins after tax, that's 2,000 coins tax. I get like 37K back anyway. But I know he's going to drop. Uh, he's going to drop after he gets back in packs. That's just how these cards work. I mean, his inform is 84 rated. And granted, it is left back, but it's only like 85,000 coins. So with that being said, I can imagine his 82 rated card is going to plummet. Once he goes back into packs, just give it a couple days after Wednesday, maybe Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and we'll see what he is in a week from now. But I can expect that 82 to be at least 10,000 points less than it is right now. So I don't want to hold on to that card. Nonetheless, guys, I've got my players. I'm ready to bid. Let's hop into it. I just sold some of these cards for profit, Alejandro Gomez and Nelson Semedo, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to buy them back, get some more deals on them. He's 125K right now, maybe sell them for 127K. And I just picked up three Alejandro Gomez's and a Nelson Semedo at about the same price as I picked them up beforehand and sold for profit. So I got one for 115, another for 120, and another for 115K. As I said, he goes for like 127 right now if I wanted to sell him, which for this card is basically just getting our coins back almost, but for the other two would be about five or 6,000 coin profit. And then the Nelson Semedo is going for 86,000 coins right now, so that's already almost 2,000 coin profit, which obviously isn't a lot, but to buy the card and immediately be in profit range as an investment is always a good thing. It's always a good sign. That card rises every single coin that it rises is coins that are profit. I don't have to wait for that 5% tax uh, to be covered before I'm making profit already. So that's the good sign with those cards. I've actually decided to go out and do the Timu Puki SBC. And if you guys haven't done it yet, I'd suggest honestly doing it now. I waited this long for a reason 
pretty cheap right now. It's about 20,000 coins if you did it from scratch, and you get two 7.5k packs in return, which is 15k pack value, but realistically, you're probably only gonna get like five or 6,000 coins in return. Nonetheless, you're getting this Team of Pookie card for like less than 15,000 coins, maybe even less than that. So I think it's a pretty good deal. I was able to do this SBC for just 4k because I had some players in my club, so I bought Daily Blind and I bought Sergio Roberto, which I don't really like buying fullbacks for SBCs, but it made it really easy so I could do the rest of the squad with players in my club. So we're going to go and submit that one for a premium gold pack. We'll open that pack, and then we'll go ahead and get into the next one, and we'll finish the Timu Puki, which I think is worth it for like 15k, just to have in my club more as a collector's item uh, than anything. I'll probably use it as a as a sub as well. Um, it's, a, it's also a first owner Premier League card, if you think about it. Um, and we get... Bruno Viana. Now, to be fair, Bruno Viana is going for like 2,000 coins. So I guess I can't be too disappointed with what I got in that pack. Um, but yeah, kind of what you should expect from the 7.5k pack. Uh, nonetheless, I'm getting a team of Pookie for really cheap. So I'd do that before it expires. And th Spent 4,300 on this squad, then used the rest of the players in the team. So really, like, if we get 2,000 coins back from the pack, which is pretty much guaranteed from a 7.5k pack is about 2,000 coins. We actually only spent 4k on Pookie, and that is totally okay with me. And here he is. Not a bad card. I've played against him. He's got some pretty clinical finishing with 84 shooting. And 84 shooting is like, that's big this year. Like anybody with 82 above in shooting stat is actually quite solid. And the fact that he's, he's very strong in game as well with 80 dribbling, 84 pace, He's just a card that, that's actually usable for a little while. I don't think he'll be usable after December, especially after Team of the Year or anything like that. But he'll be usable for a little while, and I'll definitely be bringing him off the bench, if not starting him, if I do go with a Premier League-based team. And here's our next 7.5k pack. We're still a little less than two hours away from Sunday Night Bidding, so we've still got some time to buy some things. And we don't get anything great here, just a rare gold player. It's going to be... Ruben Diaz. I've packed him a lot this year for some reason. I just got him again. But at least we got some rare cards in this one. Only about four more minutes until Squad Battle Rewards drops, and I've got some more cards that I picked up. My Semedo I added to my team and sold my gold one. I've got five Gomez's, even as low as 109,000 coins, who's currently going for almost 20k more than that already. So that's 15k profit almost after tax. Uh, and that's already before he even rises higher, which I believe he will. But once he gets over like 130, maybe if he hits 135, I'll probably sell. I'm not trying to hold these for too long. And then I also got this Fredetsky for 15K. He's going for like 18K right now. But we've also got our weekly packs for uh, or the Ultimate Edition or Pre-Order or whatever it is. We get two 25K packs and I literally haven't packed anything out of these yet this year. And I'm hoping to get something this week. And we got a board drop at least. I'm not sure if it's a walkout, but it's Spanish. A striker. Uh, Rodrigo. Okay, that's not terrible, right? That's not terrible. What's he actually sell for, though? Um, I know Anaki Williams goes for like uh, 20k. He's in my team. Rodrigo, on the other hand. Uh, I mean, in terms of like 83 rated plays, it could have been, you know, Diego Costa or Morata, which would have sucked. Rodrigo is going for about 5,000 coins, so... I guess we'll take that. It's not terrible. 5k. Uh, we didn't have beforehand. Anything else in this pack? Maybe another 83 hiding below. Nothing else in the pack. And we'll go ahead and quick sell some of the other guys in here. And then we've got our next 25k pack. Hopefully we can get another board drop. I'll take that all day. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. We'll take a Rodrigo. Can we get another decent pull? Another board drop at the bare minimum. Come on now. Don't believe this is anything. Just a rare gold card. Be Furlan Mendy or something then. Nope, gonna be Spinozola. Doesn't sell for anything, unfortunately. Nothing crazy to get excited about this week again. But I think Rodrigo's probably the best pull I've had so far. Screw Wagner. Don't like that guy. Um, go ahead and send the rest of these to the club. Quick sell Wagner. And we're gonna hop into our uh, sniping for the first hour. So at 8.05, which is in two minutes, we start sniping. And then after an hour passes, we start bidding. And then later in the night, 
Uh, we're going to at like 3 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. UK, which is when this video will go up. So if you guys are watching this video right when it comes out, prices are super low for these like really cheap cards that you're seeing probably from here on out in the video. Uh, go ahead and check some out. Check some cards that out for your own. Like any cards that are normally go for 1.5 to 4K, they're really cheap at that time of the night. Um, like right when EU wakes up at 8 a.m. UK. It's, they're, they're really, really cheap, and it's a good time to pick up cards then. Um, so I'm going to get in on that second wave later tonight as well. We're underway with our sniping. We've got a couple decent deals. You know, we got Alexis Sanchez for 900 and all of these Inter Milan players. These guys are going for like 2.9K right now, which is nice, and we got them all for a lot cheaper than 2.9K, 1.5, 2.1, 1.6, 1.5, 750 and 1700 we got a couple of these spanish guys i'm not expecting as much profit on them but i am expecting profit because i got them all for uh 650 coins and less those are a couple more of the inter guys but i got them all for 650 and less i expect them to go back up to a thousand coins and i'll probably get into some more sniping on them here in a minute but those are the cards that we've got so far we're going to keep sniping and then we've got bidding and then we've got second wave investing we've got some bids in as well i think we got like 33 snipes and 25 bids now all making some decent profit i mean this fraser goes for like 2,000 coins right now, and I imagine maybe 2.5K in 12, 24 hours. Uh, Marco Rui, or Mario Rui, excuse me, um, he goes for like 1,600 right now, so we're making a little bit of profit on him, maybe like 800 coins on average per card, maybe 600 coins per card right now. Uh, got this guy as well. Um, it's only one, one card, goes for like a little over 1,000 coins. Um, and then the transfer list here is, um, is full of enter, and I think we showed this already, so. We've got some uh, some new players on here as well, but generally the same concept. And I want to explain the second wave before we end this episode. So in about four hours, five hours, six hours from now, it's normally around 8 a.m. UK is generally when I start buying and, and, and bidding again. Um, but that's about the time of, of, of the second wave. It's not a set time or anything. So if you're an hour late, an hour early, you're still good. But just monitor players. Monitor your cards that you picked up on your transfer list. If you picked up, you know, a player like, let's say, who's a good example? M. Barba, right? And this card normally goes for 1,200 coins or something like that. Um, if he normally goes for 1,200 coins and you got them all for, how much did I get this card for? 500. And he starts going from 1,200 to 1,100 to 1,100 to 900. 800 750 700 and you're like oh my god i invested in this card at 500 he's dropping quickly i need to sell because i'm not going to make any profit he's going to go to discard no you do not sell your cards you buy as many more as you can because he'll get back up there to 1200 coins all right or whatever he was at beforehand i think he was like 1100 1200 so i'm pretty sure that's a decently accurate statement same for charlie austin that's another good example got him for 1200 right he goes for like what 2.5k goes for 2,500 coins. He starts getting down to 1,700, 1,600, 1,500. You think, oh crap. No, don't think, oh crap. Just go out and spend as many coins as you can on these cards um, in that you know two hour span and then wait 24 hours and see what he's at. If he's not up in 24 hours, which I'd say about 80% of the cards probably sell within 24 hours. Um, if he's not up within 24 hours, wait till the next day and then, and then they'll be up. Um, there's exceptions. Uh, Maybe about 5% of the cards don't end up working out. That's all right. As long as you made a little bit of a variety, you should make tons of profit. Um, I remember last week I picked up a card that only made me 300 coins per card, which was Ricardo Rodriguez, and I was all right with that. You know, it was one card, maybe 300 still per card. The rest of them made me like over 1,000, up to 3K per card. It was brilliant. This week I'm hoping to make another 100,000 coins, and right now I've probably got about 50 to 60,000 already, and then I'm probably going to make another... Um, hopefully maybe maybe get up to 160k on the second wave. That's where most of our profit came last week. If you guys remember, Lissandro Martinez, I believe his name was, center back for Ajax. I picked him up during the second wave at 1,200 coins. That's what he was going for. That's what he was on the market at 1,200 coins. And I waited. I had to wait 48 hours on him. He took longer to rise. And like my Vogue uh, rose quick. You know, all my other cards rose quick. That card didn't rise quick. And I held on to him for 48 hours. And then the second day, he, he was up to 3,000 coins. He went from 1,400, which was after 24 hours, to 3K after 48 hours. So just, just be patient. Go ahead and take your profit and run. And uh, make sure you're keeping an eye out for your in-form investments as well, guys. So I want to leave you with this. 
Keep an eye out for your informed investments. Same thing, when this video goes up, this is the time to buy throughout the day uh, on, on Monday. Throughout the day on Monday is kind of gonna be your last in chance to invest in these cards before they start rising a decent amount, unless, unless, there's a unless there's a, an SBC that gives a good pack that's very cheap, similar similar to what we saw on Thursday with that 35k pack. If there's another SBC, then yeah, pick them up. So you can see Nelson Semedo rose to 87k. I'll tell you exactly what this card is going to happen in my opinion. 87k, I think he gets down to 82k in about five, six, seven hours, eight hours, nine hours, throughout the morning tomorrow, throughout the afternoon even. And then if there's no SBC tomorrow and no SBC Tuesday, that card just starts skyrocketing up to uh, over 100,000 coins. I think he gets down to about 82k again and then he go in and then he starts rising. That's what I'm expecting. So I'm going to get in on that card again and then what we got uh, Alejandro Gomez. I'm going to try to get in on that card again. Um I've already got a few of Alejandro Gomez as well. Um what's he at right now? He's already risen a lot. So he's 130,000 coins now. I got one for 109 today on a on a decent deal. He's 130k now, so he's already rising. I could see that card getting back down to, I don't see it hitting 115 again, honestly. I don't see it hitting 115 again, but I could see it hit like 122 again. So I could see this drop a little bit, but not not to 150, not to his cheapest price, but he'll get back down to, to a good deal. And that, that's a card that could definitely rise a lot because if you take a look at Mertens, if you take a look at, at Trees Mertens, just his regular card. I mean, his regular card goes for kind of that price, you know? So the fact that you're getting an inform for, you know, 130K there, Mertens goes for 120K. I'd say that Alejandro Gomez is a pretty solid investment. Um, but you also have to consider like how many people are gonna go with Mertens over top of the inform. I don't know, I don't know. But another another example of this is like Furland Mendy. If you take a look at Furland Mendy's card, see his price? which is like, you know, 40,000 coins or whatever. Yeah, he's like 40K, maybe 39,000 coins. And then you take a look at Theo Hernandez, which is in form, and he's only one rating higher, which the rating doesn't really matter too much, but it does when you, when you think about how much supply there is of Theo Hernandez. There's 57,000 coins. I mean, how many people are going with Hernandez over top of Furland Mendy? I generally don't think there's that many. Um, and even if you do, Furland Mendy is gonna be a card that drops over time. That Furland Mendy is not gonna be a card that rises over time. The longer you have Furland Mendy, the more coins you're losing on him. He's gonna go from 40K to like 30K in two weeks, and then another three weeks later, he'll probably be like a nice 12,000 coins, especially as we get towards Black Friday, that Furland Mendy. Uh, from here until like, if you give him six weeks for a line many, will probably go down to about 25% of what his price is currently. So with him getting cheaper, you gotta consider like, okay, all right, how much better is this Hernandez than Ferland Mendy as a French left back? All right, you know, I'll be, I'm willing to pay 16K more. All right, 56K, that's fine. All right, it's, it's only a little bit more than Ferland Mendy, that's fine, and he'll go out of packs, it's fine. But what if Furland Manny's 30K? It's like, then you got a little bit of more of a dilemma. It's like, eh, well, I'm saving. It's like almost half the price. I'll go with Furland Mendy. And the more people that go with Furland Mendy, the lower this card gets. So I just don't see that as a crazy great investment out of packs. Because, you know, there's competition with that card, and that competition is dropping in price. So I could see that card dropping in price as well. But that's it for the video. Hopefully you guys learned something. And if you did, make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.